Hi guys, this is Vo. Um, so I have here the Unicorn uh, Gundam Banshee um, from the Gundam Universe line, which is um, a larger um, action figure line. Uh, these are, let me stress that, these are not um, um, Gunpla or, um, you know, model kits. Uh, these are actually action figures. And they are released by Bandai, and um, they're officially licensed. And the, these two other ones that is out now is B Barotos and Deathsis. I haven't seen either one of those, but but I got a hand on the Banshee. I'm very excited about it because uh, I've been waiting for a new line of these figures because I have the original first wave of the Gundams. So here is him next to the Unicorn Gundam, the white version. So the Banshee is basically the black version of, of the Unicorn. This is Wing Gundam. Uh, it's actually a pretty good figure. If uh, I mean, if you get one figure, the Wing Gundam is, is... But you also can't beat the classic, which is the, the 70s version. Um, I have to say that I love the original 3-inch uh, line that uh, ba Bandai released a few years ago. This is one of them. Uh, the And um, they... I just love these, uh, these little guys. It's like 3.5 inches or whatever. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, like uh, most... Gundam, they don't do well in America. <laughs> Nobody likes giant robots here or something. Anyway, with these uh, packaging, you can. Um, what What's nice about them is uh, if, once you open it up and play around with it, you can just put it right back in, put it back in the box, and it, it's actually a pretty good uh, placement to hold your figures. Um, if you don't want to have them out on display, you can put them in the, the box itself. But, um, yeah, we're going to open it up, and uh, we're going to take a look at the figure itself. So, um, the first thing I'm going to say is that I love the figure, but there are some issues I have with it. For example, you got to put on his butt, which uh, uh, I don't... I, I understand why they, they have that uh, detachable, because it's so that he can fit in the, the packaging a little better, but I wish it just come right on it, uh, uh, or at least may, maybe uh, make way for the plastic. And the other thing I don't like about the figure is his hands. Now, these are non-removable. This uh, weapon here, this uh, kind of uh, claw or whatever. It's not really claw. It's more like a, um, you know, a forklift type of thing. As you can see from his head, this unicorn name comes from the crown on his head. The claw on his other hand is non-removable as well. You can move it up and down. Here is this fist in there, but you, like I said, you can't remove the the clunky uh, claw. I think it looks cool, but I wish I can just remove it and just have him straight up Banshee gun down all the way, you know? Um, yeah, I do love the uh, the shimmering plastic within the black plastic uh, there that you can see uh, easing out. It does come with an extra hand for a grip and then uh, a thing that you can put on his crotch to hold him up. Uh, assuming if you pose him for like mid-air because he does stand on his own fairly well um, so yeah so we're gonna take a look at the uh, the other unicorn Gundam that I have and we're gonna kind of take a little comparison uh, between the two um, I do have to say I love the the white uh, unicorn I think he actually looks uh, it's one of the better better figures that I have uh, within this line uh, and uh, the best part is um, his weapons are removable so um, you can have um, a, a shield and a gun uh, also once again the, the butt thing that you gotta uh, add put back in um, and also the backpack uh, so yeah, otherwise, uh, between the two, uh, they they both look good. And if you're going to have them in your collection, uh, definitely have both. Uh, I think uh, I really like uh, the Unicorn line, or at least the, the Gundam, uh, or at least that design of it. Uh, uh, check out that knee, man. That is some crazy knee action. Anyway, uh, once again, the, the shield is removable and the gun is removable. So that's, that's like much better than say the the claw that is comes pre-attached to to the uh, unicorn banshee anyway uh, i am gonna definitely pick up all the figures in this line so um i'm gonna i'm on the watch for uh, baratos and death sis and if i um hopefully they should be in store or most of the major stores here um soon 
I know that um, GameStop gets them, uh, Target gets them, and also Walmart will also get them, uh, assuming they stock them. So uh, just be on the lookout for these figures if you're into Gundam. I think uh, it's really a, a good time to be a Gundam fan in America. Uh, I know in Japan they probably have this already. Um, so yeah, um, forward to uh, getting the rest of the line and uh, uh, keep releasing them frequently and and also as many as you can. I'll I'll be I'll be there to to check them out. Uh, all right, thanks for watching.